we're working with the H11A and as you can tell it has the Evolution TS50. This particular controller will be used on our H14A, it will be used on the S23A and on the S20A. The difference between the S23A and S20A is that it will not have the full feed force um, adjustment knob or it will not have the feed rate adjustment knob. The only two machines that will actually have these two controls will be the H11 and H14A. The S23A and S20A will only have your blade speed. You're enable for the uh, shuttle uh, fast, your reset, your emergency stop, your shuttle forward, backwards, and head up and down, and USB port for installing uh, and upgrading new programs. We're going to adjust the uh, head position uh, in order to uh, start my cycle. So what I would do at this point, as you can tell, the Y axis is, is our head movement uh, top to bottom. It's at 9.445. So what I need to bring it down to is around three inches or just above three inches. I'm gonna cut a three inch uh, piece of material. So I would grab my joystick and I would put it into the Y minus. As you can tell, our value is starting to change. The head's going down very slowly. If you would like to increase it, you would push your enable. It starts to go down fast. Once you get close, just release the button, enable button, and it starts to feed slow again. So we want it probably about a quarter inch less, or above our material. So then what we can do, we're three, so we will take it up a touch. We're now set at 3.220, which gives us about 220 thou clearance from the top of our material. That is all that you would have to do to set your head. In order to lock it in, then basically you would push your F6, you would start the cycle, and it memorizes the head up position now. So now it's going to feed through our three inch part. Once it gets to the bottom, it will raise back up, and we'll see it on this display here. Increase our feed rate a little bit. head is going back up. Okay, this is going to be a manual mode situation, so you would uh, bring your material in. Uh, at that point, you would clamp your shuttle vise, clamp your front vise. You would have your head already set above the material. So at this point, once your front vise, shuttle vise is closed, you would push F6, enable the blade, start cycle. This would be your coolant. Right now it's in the off position. That is on. And then for auto cycle, as the blade's running, we'll have the square with the uh, arrows on it. Once the manual cycle is done, the machine will raise, it, raise the head to its upper limit, stop the blade, stop the coolant, stop the cycle. We're now going to switch into semi-automatic. What we showed previous was just a manual mode, one cut situation. So to switch into your auto cycle, you would push this. Now you have a square box with uh, arrows on it with the uh, letter J. So in order to uh, set my job up, I would bring my material in, I would close my front vise, I would close my shuttle vise. At this point, I need a new length, so I would just touch the length uh, display and re-enter my value. Now you can clear it, or if there's a value there, you can just overwrite it. So we're going to go with 6.0, enter, length of 6 inches. Number of pieces I would like cut at this point, I touch the display. Again, it's got two, so I can either clear it or I can just go 5, enter. And at that point, I got six inches for length, five pieces, number of cuts I need. Uh, at this point, the PC is already set to zero. If there was a value there, you would push F5, reset PC. At this point, my front vise is closed, my shuttle vise is closed, F6 is blade enable, F7 is blade start, cycle start, 
turn my coolant to the auto position, which would be the square box with the arrows. Now at this point, my head is coming down. I can adjust my feed rate. I can adjust my blade speed. I can also adjust my feed force. It's blade speed, feed rate, and feed force. At the end of the cut period, it will raise back up to its upper limit. At this point, it will index in the material. It will clamp. It will go down for the cut. It will continue this cycle until my PC matches my number of pieces. If you need to stop the cycle for any reason, you can push your F8. It says cycle and hold, press start. Now if I'd like to start it again, I would just push my start. The machine starts again. Now it's pulling in my indexing, my first uh, piece. And cycle starts again. If I need for some reason to stop the cycle completely, I would push stop. Stop one more time, reset. At this point, my head will raise back up to the upper limit and finish. Will not carry on with the cycle. You would have to restart everything again.